And what I like about this car the most is the sound, the crackle from the exhaust. You hear that? That is awesome. Rockstar did an outstanding job with this one. So what's going on guys? Odd Man 105 aka the Odd One here and welcome to this week's Podium Car customization and review video. And just like the previous weeks, check it out. Here's this week's Podium Car, the Fister Comet SR. Now, if you guys are interested in knowing how I win Podium Cars every single week, there will be a link in the description down below for my video and I'll post a link for my video right about here. Now, if you are new to my channel or you're an OG, thank all of you very much for your support. I really do appreciate it. And consider subscribing while you're here. It helps out the channel a great deal and it's absolutely free. Don't forget to click the bell icon for future notifications. Leave a couple of likes while you're here because they also help out the channel a ton. And hey, while you're here, check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. Okay, let's begin. Okay, so the Fister Comet SR is designed after the real life Porsche 997 GT2 RS. That's a mouthful. Now, this is a gorgeous car out of the box, and believe it or not, the Fister Comet SR is not only faster than the standard Fister Comet and the Fister Comet Retro Custom, but it's also faster than the newer Fister Comet S2. So this car is an absolute beast. What I want to do for this build is, let's get rid of the yellow. Uh, if you guys may remember, I've already done a build of the Fister Comet SR, on my channel. I'll post a link in the description down below. But uh, I want to do something that's a little more subtle but mean for this one. So let's get in this thing, take it over to the customization stall, kick the tires and light the fires, and get started. And I'll see you guys when I get there. All right, here we go. Fister Comet SR Sports Class, one of the fastest sports class cars in the game, by the way. All right, armor, 100%. Brakes, race brakes, bumpers, front, uh, yep, you know, let's go competition splitter on this one. The rear, kind of like the primary, uh, the way it is, or the stock bumper that is, you've got primary and secondary. Let's leave the carbon on the rear, so we'll leave that stock. Chassis. Okay, primary, secondary intakes. Okay, let's go... Let's go primary on the intakes and you guys will see why. If we don't like it, we can change it later. Engine, full upgrade. Exhaust. Now, I like the stock exhaust just the way they are. Those two big twin bore exhausts, those are nice. But, let's go with the angled dual exhaust on this one. That's nice and clean right there. Fenders. Now this is kind of controversial. We can put the extended fenders on there, but that kind of takes away from the clean look, in my opinion. So what we'll do is we'll leave the fenders stock. And of course we can fix that later uh, if we want. The hood. Secondary hood. Carbon hood. I think that will be a little too much carbon, so we'll leave the hood stock for the time being. The horn will leave standard. Lights. Headlights. Let's go Xenon. We will not do a neon kit for this one. Lost theft. We have plates, and you guys already know what it is. Black and yellow, baby. The respray. Primary. Let's do a color that I haven't done in a very long time. Let's go metallic. And... Uh, yeah, I've already done a color in orange, as a matter of fact. It was bright orange. And this car looks absolutely gorgeous and bright orange, but since I've done that, I'd consider it Sunrise Orange, which looks awesome as well, but I want to do something a little different this time. So if we can find it. Okay, let's get the darkest possible purple we can find. Here we go, let's go Midnight Purple. Okay, and, and it already has the right purple pearl. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Okay, so we'll do that. 
secondary color uh, will match the primary and secondary. If we can find it, there we go. Midnight purple. The roof. Let's leave the carbon on the roof for the nice contrast. For some reason, carbon looks really good on this car, so we'll leave that uh, stock. Skirts. So you've got primary, secondary, and competition. Okay. Well, all right. Let's put the competition skirts on this one. Spoiler. Uh, this is going to be controversial also. I'm going to leave the spoiler stock, and that's because, there. well, for one thing, there's no option to remove it, which is good, and you want to get the traction bonus anyway. I think this spoiler is a little too over the top, and the rest of them uh, just kind of don't suit this car for my... Uh, okay, there is an option for none. So if you take the spoiler off, you lose the traction bonus. So we're going to keep the spoiler stock. I think that looks fine just the way it is, because it's carbon also. So we'll leave that stock suspension. Let's slam it. Oh yeah, that looks nice. <laughs> Transmission, full upgrade. Turbo, full upgrade. And this car is going to perform like nothing you've ever seen before. Wheels, wheel type. Let's go high end. And this car has got a fat wheel in the rear. So let's go... Let's put some carbons on it. Now, the cheetah carbons look really nice on this thing. Check that out. That looks really nice. But the Inferno carbons look nice, too, especially with the polished lip. I think that suits the car a little better, in my opinion. So let's go with the carbon Infernos. Let's put those on. Wheel color, just out of curiosity. Oh, okay. That's a nice contrast. Where's the purple? And you've got midnight, which doesn't really do anything. All right, we can go shaft of purple on that, even though you can't really tell. Two thousand dollars for painting the hub. Tires, tire design. Yes, please. Enhancements, bulletproof. And smoke, uh, you know. Okay, you know what? We'll do black tire smoke. And the windows, let's uh, tint it out. And look at that. Look at that. That is nice. Very nice. All right. So that's it. I think we're all done here. Yep. So when the sun comes up, we'll test drive it. But for now, let's park it. Beautiful car. Wait till the sun hits it. Okay guys, and we're back, and check this beautiful thing out. Look at that. That is nice. That purple and that pearlescent absolutely pop in the sun. That is gorgeous, especially like the carbon rims on this thing. This was a good choice. Excellent build on this one, in my opinion. All right, let's go. Brakes, brakes work. Oh my god, this thing is fast. Wow, this car pulls. This car is fast, and it's got excellent handling also. This car sticks to the road like nobody else's business. First person. Yeah, this car is no joke. And this is an OG car right here. This thing is nuts. I hope you guys had a chance to win this one. If you want full detail specs, check out my other video on the Vista Comet SR. But this car is all the business right here. Very nice.
let's take a really quick look at the interior. Nice. You've got the front area. Poorly rendered. I think they could have done a better job with that. You've got the interior, which is kind of the standard sports car interior with the nice Comet uh, logo on the floor mats. That's nice. And you've got that flat 8 engine in the back. Rendering is okay. It could have been better, but you know what? This is an OG car. Overall, this car is absolutely gorgeous. Look at it. And that purple pops in the sunlight. All right, guys, and we're back. And this car is all the business right here. The Fister Comet SR brought the smoke. This car is no joke right here. Let's talk about the performance. In my opinion, this car is a 10 out of 10 across the board. Acceleration, handling, top speed, and braking, this car is an absolute beast. Now, the appearance, that choice of the purple and that bright purple pearl, pop in the sun. Unbelievable. And I love the purple accent on the carbon rims. This car is absolutely gorgeous. Now, as of the making of this video, this car is still available on the podium at the casino, so you still have an opportunity to win it if you haven't done so. Use my technique to win podium cars every time to get your hands on this one. It's absolutely worth it. And with that being said, guys, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, a.k.a. The Odd One, coming to you live once again from the LS Car Meet with this week's podium car customization and review of the Fister Comet SR. You guys need to get this one. If you found this video informative or entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.